All right, yo, what is good with y'all? I'm about to show y'all how to get every single enchant in the game because honestly, I don't really see too many gods on it. Uh, drop a sub. We're almost at 1k subs. Only like 2% of y'all are subscribed, but um, when we get to 1k subs, I have something big planned for y'all. It's going to be a giveaway, something like that, and it's going to be definitely the biggest arcane lineage giveaway like in the history of arcane lineage, so just get ready for that. And let's just get into it. I'll show y'all... Um, Inferno first and one thing to note is that every enchant requires level 35 and above Except for Inferno. Inferno requires level 25 only and let's get into going to Inferno enchant So once you get here, um, there's an area in the wall that you can go into. You can just walk into the wall. And then it says like some yap here. It says um, trial by fire. Basically telling you that you need to do this parkour to get the inferno enchant. This parkour right here. It looks intimidating. It's not too, too hard. Um, one thing to note is that you should bring a lot of health potions or some way to heal. Because... When you fall in, you lose half your HP, and if you fall in twice, you're just dead. Like, look, I'll just, uh, I'll just try to do it. Yeah, I'll just fall in. And then when you fall in, you, like, get temp sent back up, and you lose half your HP. So if you fall in twice, you're just, you're dead. So that's one thing to know, alright? And those little fireballs right there also do pretty good damage, so you want to watch out for those as well. Alright, let's get into the next one. Alright, so for the Reaper enchant, you want to go to the Desert Town, drink an Abhorrent, go behind... The desert town and just keep going over here it's not really a long pathway so you just keep going this way and you'll see like this big structure this thing right here and behind this structure uh, there's a door there's gonna be a door this um, red door right here and you want to just open it interact whatever you can open it and what you want to do is you want to hold out a lineage shard and talk to these spikes. Uh, I don't have a lineage shard, so I'm not going to do it right now. What is this guy? A corpse slays motionless on the throne. And that's how you get, you'll get the reaper enchant just on the spot like that. It's one of the easier ones to obtain. And what it does is on proc, it can um, increase your damage and it also gives you healing. It gives you a pretty good damage increase and a, a decent lifesteal. And it also gives you a passive regeneration buff based on your missing amount of lives is what the trailer says, but that might be capped. I was getting to the next one. Alright, so for Midas Enchant, let's just start at Caldera Spawn, come over here. Doctor's right there, go inside the bar. And then in the back over here, there's an NPC. You have to defeat Yarthul first, and then you talk to the NPC, and you say, um... You have to pick the, the top dialogue option. I already started the quest. You, t you pick the do top dialogue option, and then you have to sell 250 um, items to the Tinker. Once you once you sell 250 items to the Tinker, bulk sell apparently does work. It used to not, but apparently it does. And once you sell 250 items, you come back, and it'll he'll give you, he whatever it is, will give you Midas Enchant. And Midas basically makes it so that enemies drop more stuff, and you have a... 15% extra damage increase when it procs, and if it procs and kills an enemy, you get gold for it. Alright, let's get into the next one. There's also an event enchant going on right now. There's an event going on, there's an enchant, and it's right here, just talk to this guy. It's 500 crystallized joy. It procs frost, and I think if you use it with a frost weapon, it might do something special. I'm not too sure on that, but it's 500 crystallized joy, so it's not that easy to get, and let's get into cursed, alright. Alright, so you just go left from um, the entrance of Deep Forest, and then there's like this little cave here. And you talk to this guy. I already have Cursed Enchant, so it's not gonna let me, um... Actually, I guess it will. Wait, you need to speak. What do you need? Um... 
I'll do it. I'll retrieve your friends. And what you have to do for this quest is you have to kill 10 cursed corpses. Yeah, just just do the last hit. You can do it with friends. You just need the last hit. After you kill 10 cursed corpses, come and talk to him again. And then um, you have to end a battle while being cursed. Is the next thing you do. And after you end a battle while being cursed, it has to be the last battle you did. The last battle you did, you have to end it while being cursed. You have to go to the cess grounds and die to the cess ground fog. I made a full guide on it. I'll probably link that in the description. I made a full guide on the Chris and Shane, like a more in-depth one. And let's get into life song. All right, so once you get into this cave, just follow my lead. It's pretty dark, so it's pretty scary. Just go forward. There's nothing, nothing can really kill you here. Just keep going forward. Then take a, a, a right, I guess. There's there's a there's a little bit of parkour, but it's like really easy, so don't worry. There's like a jump there. I almost fell off. Well, wow, that's easy. Just keep going forward like this, and just keep going forward. I think the right is berserker to the right, but you don't want to get berserker. So do these jumps. If you fall in the void, it, it isn't an insta kill, it just lowers your HP by like 70%. Alright, then you go forward and then take a left, and then you can just go because Life Song's right here. And Life Song, um, you talk to Nartana, whatever, power, alright, sure. And then um, you have to do a trial, which is healing 5000 HP in combat. This takes insanely long if you're a paladin. It, like I did in my other video, but if you're a, if you're a saint, it should be pretty fast. I think the best method to obtaining it as a paladin is to just go into duels and just keep on using lesser heal with um, maybe Breath of Fungir and Nartana Sigil and yeah, just just have your friends help you. For saint, it's gonna be like get your friend low, a paladin that's really high HP. He's gonna get low to the fire at Caldera. Then you go into a fight and you just uh, you just holy grace him over and over again and it should be really fast with saints so don't worry about it and then you come back and get it and what it does essentially is it increases your outgoing and incoming healing and every time it procs it increases it even further all right so those are all of the enchants um most of them are viable most of them are good there's not really too much of a bad enchant except <coughs> um, reaper <coughs> reaper um but yeah uh honestly just drop a sub bro 1000 subs i got something planned for y'all and hope y'all have a good rest of your day